Yes, hi and hello. I'm gonna do my best to introduce you to force of nature jumping. So the first step to understanding how to use this weapon is by understanding that the force of nature has different jumps for different types of situations. This is meant to be an introductory guide to the basic movements that I believe all force of nature scouts should know. While the force of nature has some intricacies to it, I would not say that it's harder to learn than rocket jumping overall. The force of nature is its own style of jump mechanics that has its own rules. Speaking of, let's go ahead and go over them right now. While you can push back enemies on the ground or in the air, you can only push yourself back in the air. Basically, just remember that when you're on the ground, you won't be pushed back, so it'll be easier to land your shots. While in the air, you'll have better mobility. Force of Nature is a lot more than just a triple jump. Force of Nature jump is potentially higher and further than a triple jump. You also don't get to choose when you're knocked back in the air. You can use it to reposition in a fight instead of pushing yourself away mindlessly. If you're not using it as more than a triple jump, then you're better off just using the Boston Bash or an Atomizer in my opinion. The Force of Nature's jumping potential is based off of your current momentum, not actually a flat amount. You can potentially gain speed from falling, explosive damage, or even jumping away from bullets. Anything that increases the speed that you get, increases the boost from the Force of Nature. I know it seems like a no-brainer, but this is very important for chaining jumps together and improving overall mobility. Abusing props and ledges will help you improve your airtime. Once you master a lot of the basic jumps of the Force of Nature, you should have much faster rollouts and much more consistent height and distance. There are also lots of niche areas and maps that people just won't expect you to drop from. The key to using this weapon well is by knowing your angles. With all that in mind, let's go to the jump types. Downshots are probably the most misused type of jump that I see. A downshot is where you aim directly down when you fire. It's great when you need to hop across small jumps without losing horizontal momentum. Likewise, if you're already moving at a certain speed, it'll reapply the force, allowing you to go even further than you normally would have. You should use down shots across small gaps or when you've already been launched into the air. Do not use this jump for getting across higher outer areas. It is great for extending momentum. It is not so good for getting maximum height. The 45 degree jump is the best jump for gaining vertical height. Essentially, it applies equal speed to your existing momentum and sends you straight upwards. Usually, a running start is just enough to squeeze out that extra height that you need. However, unlike the downshot, it does not continue forward momentum at all. For this reason, usage should be reserved for getting maximum height only. The skip is a maneuver where you aim down and towards the side. To do a skip, you essentially jump or double jump forward, then shoot towards the side. Think of it like a wall jump with rocket jumping. The key to a good skip is waiting until you're almost about to touch the ground, then shoot. As I've stated, the fan's power is based off of your current speed. The faster you're falling, the more forward push you get out of the skip. Unlike the down shot, it shoots you more forward, which means that you will fall faster with the skip than a down shot. Skips are really good for increasing your speed and your rollout time. Helps you outpace even other scouts when done correctly. Be mindful though, if you skip too close to where the fight is, you'll be down a shot when you need it. A dive is simply where you push yourself downwards. This is mainly for reducing the fall time, usually in exchange for some fall damage. It's a fantastic maneuver that allows you to juke air shots, reduce aerial vulnerability, and switch up your movement. You can either aim 45 degrees up in the air, or up and at an angle to add more for horizontal force. 
This is really good when you're high off the ground and you need to close the gap to secure a kill. Be mindful though, it only leaves you one shot and you're going to be in front of your enemy's face if you miss. Dives can also increase your arrival time if you need to approach from the high ground. However, you should use dives for in combat situations either to escape, dodge, or close the gap. Lastly, we have the back skip. Instead of aiming down and to the side to move forward, instead we use the momentum given to us by aiming forward to quickly hop across small gaps around the back of the ledges. The back skip is mainly for use for lining up shots while repositioning, but there are niche moments where a back skip can reduce the time that it takes to get across small gaps. Likewise, it can be used as an undo button if you fall off an edge. You can also use it to potentially juke out some shots. Another advantage to the back skip is that it gives you distance when you need it. Say you turn a corner into a soldier, you can just back skip to land some damage and retreat to mid range and just harass at the pistol. It isn't particularly difficult to learn, it just takes a bit of practice. And that's it for my basic Force of Nature tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to shout out to Adoran's channel, but I also want to shout out to Thief if you haven't seen his content already. A lot of the techniques here were popularized by him, and he is one of the best Force of Nature scouts out there. I have more advanced tutorials in mind for the future. I hope you enjoyed watching and feel free to leave a comment. Later skaters!